right, my name's Tom Reed. I've interviewed Kelly here before. Kelly, you know I upload the videos, blah, 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 right? Right. You're okay with it? Yep. So I'll start out with how you been? I've been pretty good. Pretty I want to ask you right from the beginning, you, you went to rehab. Right. You went there a couple weeks. Right. Last time I talked to you, you said that in those two weeks, you were back on the streets, but you weren't using heroin. Right. How about now? No. You're still off heroin? Yeah. And what are you using? Anything? I take my uh, medicine from the doctor. Okay. I, I take Xanax and I take uh, antidepressant. Okay. Any illegal medications? No. Are you working the street at all? No. Nothing? No. All right. So, uh, what's new? Uh, well, we've lost another girl out here. Um, she was murdered. And who was that? That was Monica Swinders. Okay. And, um... There's a lot of details that I can't, I'm not for sure about that I can't say because I don't want to get in trouble like behind it or whatever, yeah, but yeah. Um, the police, they have leads and um, if anyone does know anything, it would be really uh, to your benefit to speak up. You can call 1-800-SPEAK-UP and be anonymous, but um, Monica didn't deserve to die that way. Somebody killed her and put her in Fort Street, just left her there like a dog. That yeah. wasn't, she deserved that. And was that a weekday or a weeknight? That was a night. A night. a night. Yeah. During the week? I believe it was during the week, yeah. Okay, who found her, do you know? Um, Miranda and then Melissa, and then Melissa came to the house and, and said that uh, Monica was in the street dead, so my EMS uh, kicked, you know, my um, experience from working EMS kicked in. I went over there and she was dead in the street. She wasn't. Oh, so so you, they called you over and you went over and checked her out? Yeah, they told me she was dead over there, and I went over there and checked it out to make sure that they, that was true. Oh, and okay. That it was my, and it was. And what, was she just laying there out in the street? Yep, she looked like a pretzel. Oh, wow. And then how long did it take EMS to come around? Oh, they got around there, uh, it wasn't long, maybe 10 minutes. Okay. Now, have you heard any rumors out there? Well, yeah, but I mean, I'm not going to say what I've heard because, like I said, I don't want to get no one in trouble, and the police, have, they do have leads, and that's up to them to dispose of whatever I know. Uh-huh. And uh, I guess, it, it, we, I know it was on uh, Crime Stoppers. Yes. I put a link to that on the uh, on, yes, uh, her video. Do you uh, think that uh, that'll probably bring somebody out of the woodwork with regard to details? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you think any of the women that work down here knew anything about it? Yes, I do. You do? Yes. And uh, were they interviewed? No. They were not? No. Why? Do you know? No. But there's, there's some one of these girls knows something. And she knows who she is. And I, I have a really good idea who she is. And uh, she knows. She knows. Gotcha. Do you have confidence that the police will get down to the bottom line? I doubt it because um, the reason I say that is they look at uh, us as if we're nothing. Gotcha. Out here. Us girls that you know are out here in the streets and the ones that work, they look at them like they're nothing. Yeah. But, you know. Now you mentioned that uh, there was a guy that uh, was pretty good friends with Monica, tall guy. Kurt. No. Jim. Jim. Mm -hmm. I've talked to him a few times. If if you talked to him since then? Oh yeah. Gotcha. And I think Jim's probably really working on get more details or following up or yeah he is he uh he's uh, pretty worked up about it he's pretty upset about it i would be too i mean you know just the way that it all occurred and you know i mean he's upset you know what I'm saying? yeah he's been down here i know asking questions yeah yeah Evidently, there's a poster put on a telephone pole somewhere around here. Yes, there is. It's a 1-800-SPEAK-UP poster. Yeah. Uh, a guy, uh, I had some videos that I had done earlier, and a guy made a comment a couple weeks ago that your daughter works down here sometimes. That's true. It is true. Yeah. And does she still do it? Um, actually, she's on a walker, so no, she doesn't really get around very well. Oh, okay. And it's kind of the same scenario as far as how she ended up work in the streets down Pretty here? much. Gotcha. Um, do you, uh, are you all set now? I mean, you're off drugs, and did you get your McDonald's job? Yeah, I, I can I can still go to work at McDonald's. I'm waiting for my daughter to get this uh, operation, and I want to leave Michigan. That's what I would like to do, so. Oh, you talked about going down south for a while. Yeah. Gotcha. 
Uh, I was looking for Marguerite. Have you seen her lately? Mm, I seen her yesterday. She was on the corner over there on the service drive. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anything else you got to say or? No. Say hello to your fans out there. Hey, fans. <laughs> hey, you Famous. Too. You're famous. Yeah, I'm famous. All right, cool. So, <laughs> That's so, awesome. So what are you doing with yourself? Just kind of taking it easy and yeah, buying just, time? Yeah, and, and, you know, kind of trying to prepare myself for a, um, a move, like a, a, a whole nother scenario, a whole, just a new beginning. Gotcha. Like, yeah. All right, well, thank you. You're welcome.